Okay, welcome to up to date Windows 95 slash 98 slash 2000 slash me all the way to XP. Now, since um, the four operating systems are pretty much the same, I'm just going to use Windows me and compare it with Windows XP. So, here we go. Here's your Windows me start menu you used to. You can shut down, you can run program name from here, such as. Um, I explore.exe no um, explorer.execute and there we go there's your explorer which you can also access by clicking my computer okay and you know you can search for programs we can change settings with control panel but a bunch of your recent documents are here and you can access programs games applications services and stuff like that from the programs menu. Now you'll notice XP may look a little different here. On the right this is XP so first of all the background's different so that's pretty obvious but that should not in any way change how you feel about your operating system. Number two, there's not many icons um, installed on Windows XP on default but you may put as many icons as you want. So as you can see Recycle Bin in Windows Me is over here but on XP it's been moved down to the corner like that. So there's Recycle Bin in XP, there it is in Me. Okay, now the start menu, well okay let's start with the taskbar first. You notice it's still got the time at the bottom here and the time at the bottom here uh, volume control is here in Windows Me and it's here in Windows XP. Uh, the start button is still there. So we've got the start button here and the start button here. The only real difference is it looks slightly different. So we, you could say it's got a different skin to it. So in Windows Me, this is called actually Windows Classic Theme. So everything's a bit of a greyish colour. But in Windows XP, they changed the theme to a new theme called Luna, which gives it a bluish colour. So, we've now got a blue taskbar and a green start button. So, if we click start, it's the exact same thing. You can click start here, just like you can click start in Windows XP. Now, you notice a few differences with these two start menus. First of all, XP has a lot more content on it. But you'll notice they're actually much the same. So let, let's have a little comparison here. We can shut down the computer um, right here in Windows Me. So the shutdown is right there like that. Now if we move to XP, it's just moved a little bit to the right. So that's all that's happened. Oh, and of course, they've added a log off here. So in case you want to click shut down and, well, there's actually no log off here since I don't have an account. But you can now also log off. There should, in Windows XP, if you had, oh, Windows Me, if you had multiple accounts, the log off would be just above the shutdown. But it's been moved right here in XP. Okay. Run has been moved to here in Windows XP at the side. Search has been moved to here. Help. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to open it. Help has just been moved to the side as well. So you'll notice, shut down, run, search, and help, all these things, whoops, at the bottom here, have just been moved to one side. And you'll also notice control panel and printer fax, um, printers and faxes are also here. It's just called printers in Windows Me. So basically, they've kind of got rid of this settings feature here and kind of showing the settings here like this. So instead of having to click settings you can already see them instantly. Now we move on to how to access my computer. So my computer is basically how you can view all your files on your computer. On Windows XP there's absolutely no icon but on Windows Me you can just double click it like that and access all your files like so. But on Windows XP, there's no icon. All that happened is they've moved my computer from Windows Me here. They've just put it on the Start menu. 
Same goes with my documents. This icon here has been moved onto the start menu. And recent documents has been moved from here. So these are all my recent documents. You can just see recent documents right there like that. So as you can see that there's been quite a few changes there, but you're probably thinking, okay, what about programs? So, oh, and I should show you, there's my computer. It opens exactly the same as it does in Windows Me. You can view all your files. Okay, so programs now. In Windows XP, recent programs are just shown here, and pinned programs, which means programs you want easy access to, kind of like icons that just on the start menu have been moved here. So I've got Internet Explorer and Email by default um, at the top here, so they'll always be here. And my recently used programs are MSN, Windows Media Player, Windows Messenger, Tour of Windows XP, and Files and Settings Transfer Wizard. Although I don't actually use these, these are just by default put there. Okay, so programs here can be accessed like this. You just click programs and it has accessories and stuff and then you can choose which program you want to open by clicking on it in Windows Me. For XP however it is a little different. All that's happened is they've moved these programs down to here and they've called it all programs and as you can see accessories, games, um, accessibility, communications, all of this stuff such as notepad, they've just moved it. That's all that's happened. No, nothing's different. It's just been slightly moved. So they've moved programs down to the bottom here and put recently programs here. And they've put all the settings and documents and stuff from the desktop here. Uh, settings from here have just been put in this little panel area here. And search, help and run have been put there and shut down has just been moved to there. Now that we've discovered this, let's look at the Windows shell. Now the Windows shell is what the... Um, okay, Windows shell is kind of what it looks like when you open a program, the cover of it in a way. So let's show you. Here's Notepad in Windows XP and Notepad in Windows Me. So the shell is like the X button, or oh, well, close button, maximize button, minimize button, uh, the lovely color scheme you have going here, and the look of this pulley thing. So every everything you see here is the shell, including the taskbar. So the shell is basically what the operating system looks like, and for the first time, since Windows 95, Windows XP has dramatically changed the look of the shell, but hasn't changed the function of the shell. So as you can see, in Windows XP, you've got the close button, just as you do in Windows Me. You've got the maximize button, just like it is in Windows Me, and you've also got the minimize button, just like it is in Windows XP. Nothing's changed there. The name of the program and the icon is displayed in both things, and both shells. Um, the outside is just a bluey color and the top has also been replaced with a blue color instead of a gradient blue color. It's now become a more 3D-ish looking bluish color and it's a bit darker as well. Um, last of all, we have the taskbar. So when you minimize a program, you just click it like that and it's minimized. And we can also do that the same for Windows Me. And that's all you really need to know. So Windows XP is basically Windows Me, where they've just changed the theme and rearranged everything. Now you can obviously change XP if you if you like the fact that um, my computer and Internet Explorer and these things are on the desktop. You can easily do that with Windows XP. We just go to Start and okay, my computer. We just click, hold, and drag, and there we go. There's my computer now on the desktop for you. So. There we go. And let's say uh, my documents also on the desktop now. And you can rename it by right clicking it. And if you just want it to be called my documents, you can easily rename it like this my documents. There we go. So 
that's how we get icons back on the desktop if you prefer the icon method instead of the start menu method okay and last of all if you are a little iffy about this theme and you don't really like it that much it can easily be changed you can access um, control panel and click appearance and themes then choose display and here we can see Windows XP we can change it to either Zune or Windows Classic so Windows Classic is the theme which is used since Windows 95 and here we go I just click apply and what do you know it looks like and functions exactly like Windows Me there we go you can barely notice the difference at all if you can even notice one apart from the fact that Windows Me doesn't currently have the um, mini shortcut uh, thingy here so that that's really the only difference although you can actually I'm pretty sure you can add some toolbars and add um, quick launch here and there there's your little quick launch okay and you may think okay the start menu I want it to look a little more like Windows Me if you prefer the old look you just right click here click properties and we go to start menu then click classic start menu and click apply and you'll notice upon doing this my computer network places and Internet Explorer instantly put there and my documents um, let me just remove these icons here because they are no longer in the start menu since it looks exactly or almost exactly as it did in Windows Me so there we go if you prefer the Windows Me or 95 or classic look you can easily make Windows XP look like that and to change it back it's very simple change the start menu back and then change the theme back so have fun with XP have a little play around with it get used to the new start menu it's most likely best that you try and use XP as it is and not in classic form because when XP is in classic form you won't you're not really moving on and then Windows Vista will be quite scary for you and you probably won't be used to it okay that's Windows me to Windows XP watch um, the next video on up to date see you next time